the forest, host to a vast number of plant, animal, and insect species. During the day, the forest often brings a quiet calmness to those who seek its refuge. Many animals, like this chipmunk, forage the forest floor for nuts, berries, or other plant life. In the deep of the forest, however, lurks the predators, animals who eat other animals or insects. These predators come in many sizes and shapes, but one of the smallest is the ant. A forest tent caterpillar finds itself on the woodland floor. These caterpillars usually climb to the tops of the trees in which they were born in search of fresh green leaf. Given time, this caterpillar would one day become a moth fluttering in the night. As chance would have it, he instead crawls along the ground, an easy prey for those swifter and stronger than he. A lone carpenter ant, on its search for food, happens to come across the defenseless larvae. The slow-moving caterpillar is no match for the swift and agile carpenter ant. It is not long before the carpenter ant makes a steady attack on its prey. Although carpenter ants make their homes in trees and wood products such as housing structures and unattended wood piles, their diets more commonly consist of water, sweet syrupy type foods, and other insects. The attack on this caterpillar, therefore, is not random. If conquered, it will provide a significant food supply for the colony. Although the caterpillar may move very slowly in comparison, its tough skin helps protect it from the sharp teeth of many predators. Carpenter ants are well known for their pincher-like jaws, acting as both vice grip and scissor. These pinchers are able to lock a hold of and carry more than 20 times their own weight, and yet, just as easily able to cut through even the toughest material. Despite the ant's superior strength and speed, one ant alone will be challenged with the task of taking down the seemingly easy prey. Soon, another ant joins in the attack. Since the caterpillar is defenseless to fight against them, the ants do not concern themselves with disabling the prey. Instead, they focus only on taking it down one section at a time. Soon, a North American species of flesh fly arrives, looking to take advantage of the opportunity afforded by the predators. Flesh flies feed from meat and other living and dead tissue. Some flesh flies lay eggs while others carry their larvae until such time as a suitable habitat can be found. The open wound of the caterpillar would offer such a habitat whether the caterpillar survives or not. The fly's larvae would feed off of the host until such time as the host was consumed or the larvae matured. The ants seem unconcerned with the fly's presence, 
They continue their work, keeping their focus on the task at hand. The fly keeps a close eye on the labor as it progresses, looking for any opportunity to move in. On this occasion, the fly is chased off by the circling ant. This attack, however, fails to intimidate the winged creature who can so easily escape the earthbound predator. As time goes on, the fly becomes more and more bold, taking time to investigate the prey, even while the ants continue their work. Finally, the ants have had enough. Even as the fly attempts to close in on the prey, the frustrated ant runs off the pest, chasing it away once and for all. Soon, the seemingly lifeless form of the caterpillar begins toppling over on its side. This makes the work harder for the ants who have already made progress from the top of the prey. Because the caterpillar's skin is so tough, the ants try turning the prey back to its feet rather than making a new incision. As strong as they may be, the dead weight of the larvae is far beyond their easy ability to maneuver. After over an hour of effort, the attackers finally make it through the outer hide of the caterpillar. Even so, their task is far from complete. Much of their prize still remains attached to its owner. Soon, a third ant comes to help. With only a little of the project left to go, two of the ants leave the remaining one to finish the work. It will be this ant's responsibility to bring the food back to the colony to be shared among all. Even with so much done, the ant struggles to separate the piece from the rest of the body.
Soon, however, the ant finds success and then tries to lift the heavy morsel with its powerful jaws. Once it gains the advantage, it is not so hard a task for the ant to carry the load back to the colony. It moves quickly now, hurrying across the forest floor. Shortly, dinner will be served for countless number of other ants and their larvae. Though the rest of the caterpillar may seem to have been abandoned, it will not be long before the ants return to bring the rest of it back for consumption later. And so progresses the cycle of life within the depths of the forest habitat. The ant, a tiny but powerful predator. <laughs>